In the previous video, we have seen what is an embedded system compared embedded system with general computing system. In this video, I am just going to uh, give you a broad picture of major application areas of embedded systems. We will not discuss in detail how each application is met, but the objective of this video is to explain the domains and areas of applications of embedded systems only. So this is a very short video and very important video in terms of your syllabus of this course. So as I have already told you, we are living in a world where embedded system play a vital role in our day to day life. Maybe at home, okay, maybe when we are traveling from home to your college and at your college also. Yeah, I know in this situation you are not traveling to the college due to the pandemic, but still being at home itself, you can have a feeling of all these domains or all these areas of applications. So the first and foremost is consumer electronics. The best example is a digital camera. All of you might be very fond of digital cameras, but nowadays smartphones serve the purpose of digital cameras. But earlier, earlier when I say a few years back, a digital camera was a trend. Digital cameras are used for image capturing, storage, display, all that. Then you have these camcorders. So all this comes under consumer electronics and all these are embedded systems. When it comes to household appliances, as mentioned earlier, television, DVD players, washing machine, refrigerator, microwave, oven, all these comes as application of embedded systems. Now the new trend is automation and security systems, right? Home automation. When it comes to home automation, air conditioners, a centralized air conditioning system, the split AC system which we have at our home or at our workplace nowadays can be put into the category of household appliances, fine. But when it comes to centralized AC system, when you are going for home automation, Okay, most probably we are going to have a centralized AC system. The entire house is going to be uh, air cooled, air conditioned. So in such systems, then have you seen sprinklers in agricultural farms? Okay. Earlier it was manually operated, this sprinklers, the sprinkle water, right? So we have to switch on the valve and nowadays you can program it. You can control the amount of water required for each crop. So all this, if you are interested more on it, you can okay search in Google. Google is always there for you. So I am just giving an overview. That is it. So these uh, sprinklers are very good example. Then you have this intruder detection alarms. So there is a sensor working there. There is data processing happening. Uh, and there is this output which is a sound, which is voice, which is alarm. So this is one major application area of embedded system. Okay, it, it contains all the purpose of an embedded system like data collection, data processing, okay, monitoring, control, all that. We'll discuss that too later. Now you have the CCTV, closed circuit television cameras, right? 
we is very popular in terms of cctv so this cctvs are also ember system it has a specific function what is the specific function monitoring there is no controlling there there is no processing there it is just monitoring so monitoring is a very good purpose of an embedded system and cctv or so closed circuit television camera serve that purpose then you have this fire alarms so there also you have an uh, uh, server uh, sorry uh, sensor system which collects the data process it and give you an alarm sound next coming to automotive industry as i already mentioned in the previous video anti lock braking system is one of the major application then you have a lot of engine controlling devices ignition systems now nowadays in your vehicle you have this power ignition switches you don't have that key ignition systems you don't need a key now to drive a car it was a dream of someone to have a key for a car but nowadays they are not asking for a key so automatic navigation systems right you have this automatic navigation system fit into your vehicle your smartphone wherever connected with gps or any other technology so all these are application areas of embedded system coming to telecom cellular telephones that is basically our smartphones nowadays then this telephone switches the old telephone switches handset multimedia applications internet switches okay all these are embedded systems when it comes to telecom okay you have these uh, modem switches remodulator switches all these can be categorized under embedded system next are computer peripherals printers scanners fax machines nowadays the scanners are not a trend because you have this scanning application in your smartphone but luckily printers have its space even now technology has developed a lot you have this handheld printers i agree but still printer is one of the most used uh, computer peripheral nowadays and you know that a printer will do only a specific function printing the documents that's why it's an embedded system so when i say these applications when i give these examples you try to connect it with the definition of embedded system the examples given in the previous video on embedded systems and try to uh, make sure that you know exactly what is an embedded system coming to computer networking systems as i told you already these network routers switches hubs firewalls etc all this all these are embedded related systems very important application is in healthcare very very important applications right because there are there are majority of people depending upon this the entire medical field is dependent nowadays just on these healthcare devices healthcare embedded systems eeg ecg machines scanners when i say scanners all kind of scanners mri scanners okay so then coming to measurement and instrumentation this will be more familiar to you because you might have used a digital multimeter you might have come across a digital uh, cathode ray oscilloscopes logic analyzers in plc systems all this so in your laboratory okay previous semesters you might have come across all these systems which are specific in function a 30 volt 3 amps power supply or 2 amps power supply is specific it is going to give you 30 volt maximum 30 volt voltage and maximum 2 amps current carrying capacity so it is a dc power supply it's a specific function so it's an embedded system coming to cro the function of cro is specific it is to give you some signal right banking and retail atm a uh, heart and soul of banking system nowadays right automatic teller machines atm currency counters pos that is point of sales in banking so so many and inside the bank itself there are so many embedded systems like in our home or college then coming to readers card readers we call it as card readers remembering yeah nowadays you may not be very familiar with card readers 
so those are good in uh, using micro sd cards transferring data using micro sd cards they'll be knowing more about card readers okay barcode readers handheld devices any portable handheld devices all these are okay you might have seen the card swiping machines all these can be numbers 